Creating a custom component in AngularJS is like creating a custom element such as Markdown and then defining what you want to do with its content, and attributes, and scope. So let's start with this Markdown example and try and make it into something a bit more powerful where it can actually read Markdown and display it as HTML. So if I put some Markdown in here, um, so we'll just say, hello world, it's always a good place to start, and then a list item. If we look at our preview, you can see what the final output would look like. But if we render it in the browser right now, it doesn't really look like much, completely unformatted just as you would expect, because we haven't done anything with it yet. So if we switch over to our application JavaScript, uh, we can start writing our module, which will contain our directive. So after, anytime you write a module, you'll have to go in and hook it up. So in our HTML, we'll say ng app, say my app. Now we're linked into our module, and then we'll set up our directive and we'll call this Markdown. You'll notice that name Markdown matches the element that we wrote uh, just a couple seconds ago. So first things first, a component is going to be an element, so capital E. There's other options like attribute A, or class C, or M for comment. Uh, we're just gonna use the element name this time. And then we'll set up something called a linking function, which is much simpler than it actually sounds. It's just a function that's going to take the scope, the element, and the attributes, and then allow us to manipulate them. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the element, and let's try just setting the HTML to see if this works. So we'll say div, hello there. And then if I refresh, you can see that this uh, HTML is being replaced with the content that I set here. So another test refresh, and you can see we have a super simple component working. Just, you know, Markdown is being replaced by this element. That's not really what we want to do, because what we want to do is something like this. We'll set up our HTML text, and we want to grab the HTML text from the content, but we don't really have a, you know, there's no built-in Markdown converter in AngularJS, but AngularJS plays really well with third-party libraries. So I'm going to use a third-party library here called uh, Showdown, which allows us to convert Markdown to HTML using JavaScript. So using the Showdown converter, I'm simply going to say converter, make HTML, and then take the content, the text content of the element. And once I hit refresh now, just like magic, we now have rendered HTML in our browser using Markdown. You see, I didn't change anything in the HTML. All I did was tell the element itself what to do with the content and then how to replace it uh, using this third-party library called Showdown. If you were interested in Showdown, I can give you a, or I'll provide a link beneath the video. Now, just to show that this is actually running, let's show a couple more powerful uh, markdown examples. Um, so we'll paste the readme from GitHub in AngularJS. And then we can paste, you can see that's rendering just fine. And then something much, much longer is the readme for the tutorial for AngularJS. You can see all the links are working fine. And you can scroll down and see everything is looking just great. Um, and this is really thanks to the power of that showdown library. What AngularJS is really doing here is defining what this markdown element really does. So once you set up your module and you hook it up and you set up a directive with that markdown saying this will be an element, you can decide what to do in your linking function with the element, what to do with the content inside of it. And in this case, we're just taking the showdown converter and changing the HTML to the content converted to HTML. So that's the magic of components. We'll get much more advanced in the next example.